Hello there, friends. I'm gonna be taking a look at a new piece of gear that I got for the studio that has to do with recording guitars. It's called the Oxbox. Let's get into it. So here's the thing about the Oxbox that I have a personal struggle with. Uh, it's that it's not a microphone on an amp, which to me and my habits of how I record and what I like to do, I like to be able to move mics around. If I don't love it, I like to swap the mic and all this stuff and kind of come up with my own unique thing that has to do with the space we're in, which is this room, right? So um, that's my personal struggle, but I will say it's really dumb because I've been using this aux box for at least over a month. Uh, what I'm trying to do right now is I'm literally trying to just place mics. I moved my amps a little bit, so I'm just trying to like place the mics on the cabs and I'm thinking about, I'm getting really caught up in the, well, do, should I just put one on each cab and run two different lines and then sort of switch that or should I use two pre's? I'm just getting ca caught up in like making decisions and uh, I'm not getting anything done. A nice part about the aux box I can say is that it's just, you, once you plug in, you're just, you're good, good, you're ready to go. If you wanna change something, you just switch the rig knob uh, and if you, you know, are unhappy with the own rigs that either it came with or that you personally built, like I did in their software, then you just open the software and you can go in and change the cabinet, change the mics and the placement. And it's just fast. It's so much faster. The whole like, well, you know, I want to pick my own mics and change the placement. You, you can do all that. Not only can you pick the mics, but you can pick different cabs. Like if I'm trying to do a particular type of music and I don't love the cabs I'm using for that sound, you just pick from their library of cabs and it's so much faster uh, and it's almost instantaneous. So you can, you can hear them as you flip through, which is infinitely better when you're working in the studio. So there's that, and then you can pick the mics, mono, stereo, on axis, off axis. They even have a separate room mic. There's even a separate knob on the aux to turn up the room. Like that's that's the sort of my thing that I love about using microphones is like, let's throw a room mic up and uh, get just some weird room sound for um, maybe a lead part or, you know, just for like a focused part in a song. And uh, it, you can do that. You can do that on the Oxbox. There's, just turn the knob up a little bit. If you could change the, uh, <laughs> Change the mic on the room. You can even do stereo rooms. You, I mean, you can do it all. It's awesome. So I want to mic this up and show you, and I'm so caught up in analysis paralysis here. Yeah, let's just plug into this aux box. I'll just go through some of the rigs that I've set up and kind of walk you through how I'm using it. There's a few different ways to use it that I'm not doing. Like you can actually go to the aux and then through the aux to your cabinet if you'd like to. I, it does change the sound a little bit from what I understand. I haven't done it yet because I'm just going line out to a mic pre. It's so much nicer in my opinion for like production and working and just having things ready to go. It's just one line and it's on one pre and it's always the same. The way I have it set up is I actually have a mic on my cab and that's channel 15. And then on channel 16 is the line out of the aux box. So whether or not we wanna use the cab, we want to go with the aux. They're both ready. And um, I've just been using the aux. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and open the software here. It's called aux. So this is what the software looks like. But you basically just connect via Wi-Fi. You turn your Wi-Fi on in your computer and you can connect to the amp. And now it's showing my rigs here. So I can flip between my rigs and assign them. These are your presets. We've got preset three selected, which is a four by 12. And you can see two is my two by 12. One is a one by 12. And four, five, and six are actually the default rigs that come with the aux box. I just picked these and sort of went through the mics, placement, and sound, and personally just made them how, you know, what I would be looking for if I want to flip through between cabs. All right, so before I torture you guys with my, uh, very um, poor guitar playing skills. I am not a great guitar player. I am a guitar owner. 
who loves playing guitar and bothering other people with my playing. With that being said, I'm gonna flip through the three settings I have on here, rigs one, two, and three. First rig is the one by 12. This is sweet because making records, a lot of times the big guitar sound comes from essentially using a very small amp and just turning it all the way up, diming it out, and in a weird way, it sounds huge. So uh, that's one of the rigs. The second one is a two by 12, and the third one is a four by 12. So I'll just play some terribleness. I'll flip through some pickups, try to do a little clean and, and probably mostly overdriven stuff. Uh, and I'll turn the room mics on and off on the Oxbox, the Oxbox room mics. So nice and tight, close mics. Uh, here's a bridge pickup. Dirty it up. All right, and let's turn up the room mics here on this. So again, this is a one by 12. And the room mics I have is a stereo set of condensers. The room mic sounds awesome. Super versatile. Even on the 1x12, just throwing that room mic in there. Alright, let's switch to rig 2, which is the 2x12. See how fast that was? We just switched cabs, mics, whole setup. This is the M160 and the 421 on the cabinet. And there is a mono room mic, which I have default set on, but very low. That's what it sounds like with no delay. Okay, let's switch to rig number one, which is the four x 12. Actually, it's rig number three I have it set up. But you can see we've got the four x 12 here, 421, 121 up close. And this one is set to have the uh, room mics on and pretty high, so um, rock and roll. So you can hear the room in there. Now on the front of the aux, you have a pot for the room, so you, you can just walk over and turn it up. That's with the room mic pretty hot. This was no reverb. And I'll mute it so you can just hear the cab. That's with delay, what else we got? Anyway, I've been using this aux box for the past month and a half or so, and it's just a time saver. It sounds great, there's so much flexibility. Really just being able to go and switch cabs and mics and all that stuff within a click of a button or the switch of a knob. I mean, it's freaking awesome. It's kind of like a perfect compromise for a guy like me who doesn't love the world of impulse response amps and virtual amps and stuff like that because I can still jump between amp heads and use all the pedals and get as close to it as I, you know, can. Um, but the, the, the IRs on these cabs sound great. It's gonna be a permanent part of this setup here. I'm gonna be using it a lot. Shout out to Sweetwater for sponsoring this video, sending this so I could check it out, you know, use it and see, see what we think about it. Uh, there's a link to it down in the description, affiliate links for Sweetwater. They're such great um, partners for me and what I do and supporting what I do. There's links to all the gear that I have for the most part. 
down there if you guys are interested in any of it. Probably the last video I'll make this year because uh, it's almost January and we've got some really cool stuff coming up in January. So I wanna thank you guys for watching and being such a cool community. I seriously have like the best community of people who watch these videos and comment and and reach out to me. It's It's kind of amazing that we're all such nerds about all the same stuff. Thank you and uh yeah, happy new year. See you in the next see you in the, the next one. <laughs>